Christian. First and foremost, it's great to have you here. How happy are you to have signed? Yeah, it's been a, it's been a long time coming. Like, I was just looking forward to getting back into everyday training. Just looking forward to just having something on the weekend and being with lads again. Let's talk about you yourself as a player and a bit more the position you play. How would you describe yourself as a player? Um, versatile, I'd say. Like, if I'm playing in midfield, I'm one player, I'm playing on a wing, I like, I, I'm, I'm slightly different, a bit more direct. Yeah, a bit more direct in midfield, I like to take my time and relax. But, yeah, I just hopefully impactful. Because, of course, obviously a few fans might recognise you from the Slough friendly as Trialis B. Yeah. Um, so at that game, you're obviously playing right wing back. Yeah. Obviously, that shows your versatility there. And is that somewhere you're comfortable playing, happy yeah. playing next season? Yeah, I've played right back, right wing for a while. So it's some, somewhere in between them two. So I'm used to... And, of course, you you do have an impact in the game because you've got an assist in that game. So it shows that you, you can obviously play in that role as well. You come into the squad with a bit of family heritage in football. I know you're grinning there, but we can talk about it a little bit. Obviously, your brother plays for Liverpool and your dad's an England international. You know Alfie as well from his time with Portsmouth and his, his dad. How influential was Alfie in you joining joining the club? Uh, yeah, it's always nice to have someone you know, like just a friendly face when you first see it, someone you can hang around with while you're getting to grips with the new club, something to like show you around and let you know how things things run. So it was, it was always nice to have someone you know. And how have you found it here so far? Obviously, you've been in a short while. Yeah, it's been good. Like, it's a good group of lads. Like, it's been, I've enjoyed myself so far. Training has been good. The game was good. So, I'm, I'm having fun. Let's talk about the manager a little bit more. Obviously, he's got this history of bringing through young players and making them, you know, back to their best. Do you feel that influence with Danny? You sort of get that influence from him? Yeah, that was one of the things when you first said he wanted to sign me. He said, like, I'm gonna, I, I want to improve you. That's what I'm good at. That's what, that's what we're, our aim is to aim for the season is to make you as good as you can be. And looking ahead of next season, obviously it's a bit of a smaller squad, so it's important to have that, you know, that camaraderie and getting on with everyone. Do you feel that that will be beneficial with with Oldershot next season? Yeah, definitely. It's always like when times are tough and you one two losses. If everyone falls apart, they're in trouble. But if everyone's tight, it's just, it's a lot easier to get things back on track. And then when things are going well, to keep them going well for a long period. Because, of course, this this is a weird, difficult season. The National League is always well known for being a difficult season with a lot of clubs spending a lot of money and a lot of good players in this league. So it'll be, be a competitive but an exciting one for us and see what we can do. Okay. That's the plan. Just, just to finish off, what are your goals and targets for next season? Um, say just consistency. Consistency, a lot of starts. Um, yeah, just playing well throughout the season. Assists, goals, wherever I can. Are you in the shop? Sign up below. Subscribe. Click here for the next video and click here to subscribe. Oh.